I am Tom Gillespie. I've had my lawn business for uh, 15 years. Tom is, uh, well, he's a wonderful husband. He's a wonderful father. I love being a father and, and a husband, um, spending time with my kids, watching, teaching my kids something new that they didn't know before. It's very hardworking. Um, he gets, he's very dedicated to his job, uh, to his job with the lawn business and to the fire department. I started the, this business right before I was accepted into the Tulsa Fire Academy. I started out with working with my uncle um, in 2000 and 2001. So I basically worked this uh, job as a part-time job from the days off from my fire station. And my brother Nick um, also came on from the fire department after college and we joined business together in 2004, 2005. The most challenging aspect of it is probably trying to manage your family and personal time with the business and then focusing your time and being a good um, firefighter at the station as well. Complete Lawn Care has been a great company that he's built, especially knowing from where it came from and what it is today. I enjoy the uh, seeing and hearing from our clients of how we were able to um, eliminate the need and uh, free up their time on the weekends, um, transform a yard into something that they was an eyesore for them and now there's something to be proud about. Early on it was just kind of an extra source of income. It was just something that he did on his off days with the fire department. So I really didn't see um, that it had so much potential to grow into something so much bigger than it was. We knew we had some broken systems and processes in place. We knew our debt amount um, was uh, too high for the size of the company we are operating, but we didn't really understand why or what to do to fix it. We were increasing sales every year by anywhere from 15% and some years by 50%. So we thought we the problem was just to keep growing the company, growing the company, and more sales was going to fix all our, pro our problems. It wasn't until right after the Service Autopilot conference that we realized what kind of situation we were in. There were several probably moments like that that I realized we were in trouble. Uh, my stubbornness kept me from really acknowledging them. I was really shocked. Um, I was surprised. And then I think there was a sense of I was really sad. I was sad for Tom, um, just because I know how hard he works. After the November service, 2014 service autopilot pilot conference, I left there with uh, over 120 ideas I had written down on systems and processes I wanted to implement and change in our business. And I, um, I really didn't know what to do with all those. I knew we needed to change a bunch of things, but I really didn't know what to do next. I had a lot of ideas up in my head, but didn't know where to begin. I started looking through our financials a little bit further, and one big red flag that came up is our landscape division had lost over $100,000 in a little over 14 or 15 months. We eliminated the entire landscape install division, which not only um, cost us that revenue, but I realized we weren't making money profitably in that, in that side of the business and we needed to do something drastic. Was I afraid? Yeah, hell yes, I was afraid. I was, uh, I had uh, borrowed a bunch of money from close family members. I had developed a close relationship with uh, certain bankers across town that had I've done business with for over 10 years, and I didn't want to let them down. I didn't want to let my family down, my credit down and the pressures of all that, and including the, all the people we employed, they counted on us to support their families. And the, the pressures, I felt like the walls were kind of closing in. It did affect uh, our marriage a little bit. Tom was kind of distant, um, kind of disconnected. It was a hard time, for sure.
starting at the top, we had, uh, me and my brother were 50% owners. We had no accountability between us. We had no written agreement on business of what it was expected between each of us. We each had our own credit cards and lines of credit out at different places. We weren't communicating on who was buying what equipment. Uh, we weren't tracking our labor cost um, on a regular basis. We didn't have financial reports that we could look, look at on a weekly or monthly basis. The only real um, financial documents we saw was when our accountant sent us our quarterly or end of year statements, which I didn't really understand. So I didn't spend more than two or three minutes glancing over the numbers. I basically operated the business from looking at our checking account. And if there was money in the checking account, I thought we were doing okay. It put, it put a lot of strain, obviously, with the financials, um, especially starting with um, my partners and my brother. Um, there was a lot of blame to go around of who caused what or who spent too much money or who wasn't doing their part in the business. Usually at the time there wasn't much good to talk about the business so it created caught a lot of conflict in um, our, our relationship together and then when our families got together there was a strain. Um, There's a lot of resentment going on between the two families. Um, when we joined Service Auto Pilot Academy we started um, looking at each aspect of our business. Uh, I joined the uh, Academy group and quickly became uh, linked to um, 80 to 100 other business owners that I had immediate access to for help and guidance. It basically exposed all the problems that we were bleeding out and it was kind of like taking Band-Aid off after Band-Aid off and exposing, you know, we had major arterial, you know, arteries bleeding in our company. After taking the blinders off and, and getting real with what our problems were and stop trying to blame other people for what um, I had or someone else had gotten ourselves into, we really started to focus on, okay, what do we do here? What, what can we do to fix it? And I realized I, I knew very little of how to run a business our size. During the academy, talking to their members and going through the training sessions, I quickly learned um, new techniques and new, uh, new ways to be able to run our business, what our business needed to look like um, at the level we were at, what people I needed to have in place to help do that. Having access to the academy as we implemented these new policies and procedures and we ran into roadblocks, we had people we can call on immediately and say, okay, I've done this and this, but I need help with uh, going to the final step, or this isn't working for me and my business, but it worked for you. What did you, what did you do differently? So instead of spending days, weeks, or months uh, trying to figure it out on our own, we had access to other business owners that were willing to share their information with us. Training was uh, pretty intense. It was a monthly uh, session. Some lasted two hours. The longest one lasted six hours. Um, there was a lot of accountability to it. Homework assignments, it was like going back to school. We started with uh, tracking all our costs per division and breaking down um, each day the, uh, the crews and tracking their revenue and what they're bringing in per um, day, per hour, per week, per month. He had me get um, inventory done on everything in the shop, every piece of equipment, every truck, every backpack sprayer. He'd had them make up uh, a little form that the guys have to pull up every morning on their phones. And it's, here's everything you should have on your truck. Here's the serial number. Do you have this? You know, if you don't have this, you have to let one of us know because it means you have something off someone else's truck. And um, so we put that in place. As that started to level out and within a few weeks, we started to see positive changes in um, less complaints, less invoicing complaints, less um, scheduling complaints and, and things like that. And then we were actually able to be steady enough to implement new processes to promote even better growth and um, efficiency changes for the company as a whole. tracking every lead so now I know um, where we're getting our leads from, our cost per lead, how much it costs us to attract every new lead, how much it costs per new client um, acquisition. One of the things that I quickly learned as I implemented some of these systems, I, it freed up um, some more of my time. 
So I was able to spend more time with my family at the same time growing the business and, and uh, making the business operate more efficiently. A consultant came into town. We hired him um, from the Kansas City area. He came into town and quickly looked through all our numbers and made some very strong uh, suggestions for us. And my brother decided at that time that um, he wanted to exit the company and um, he helped us navigate through the very difficult waters of uh, structuring a deal that was fair to both of us and it still allowed our company to um, have a chance of success. Our business model has changed in many ways. We, I know what we need to charge per hour. I know what our labor cost needs to be. I know what our over, overhead costs um, need to be. I know what people we need to have in place to do the work. Um, we understand how much it costs the company to operate on a monthly basis. We track each, uh, all our numbers per division. We're, we do all our weekly revenue reports. I get a report each uh, week on what the company's doing each division so we can make uh, quicker decisions on changes that we need to make. Um, we develop new workflow procedures for myself and for our office team that can um, help and manage our day-to-day uh, -day, um, activities and tasks that need to get done so it's manageable for them. Um, it is definitely improved. I mean, we still have stressful days and days where there's fires to be put out and um, you walk in the office and think that it's going to be a normal Wednesday and equipment broke and three guys quit and you know there's there's definitely still those days. The results at first were hard to see because they were happening so drastically and we were in uh, such turmoil inside the company, especially with my brother and I, that the, the results had have just now started to kind of, kind of, I can see the light at the end of the tunnel now. We started seeing um, the profit increase when we started tracking the uh, revenue per week. When we, re we reduced our labor cost um, from the high 40% from last year in the mid 40s down to low 30s to mid 30s. So we're able to see those results now pay off with our mowing crew being profitable. In a year, um, we went from 44% to 34%. You know, it's like that's a massive decrease. 10% in your labor costs. You know, just by doing small things. I was able to uh, increase the profit of our irrigation department and our turf division by streamlining some systems and processes and um, it's really helped our uh, bottom line and increase our profit margin. The academy uh, going through the process pretty, um, it humbled me pretty quickly. And um, once I learned and admitted that uh, I didn't have all the answers, I was able to reach out for help. Tom is definitely an owner that has taken the initiative. He wants his company to grow and to become profitable. Everyone always asks me, how do you how do you have any time to do anything from the fire department and you know managing 15 or 17 employees? Where do you find time to go to the lake or go on vacations? And it's about time management and it's about putting people in a place, delegation of certain tasks that can, that can get done. That's my whole goal is to sort of try to build a company that can operate without me here seven days a week. We're fortunate in that within this company he wants us to grow and to become more efficient and anything that we can do to better that and grow our clientele and and work towards that common goal is, is exciting to be a part of. The company's in great condition now, excellent. You know, we're moving shops to a, um, a nicer office, bigger office, and a you know, thousand times better part of town. You know, everything's going better.
feel like I have a real company now. I think I have a roadmap of what I need to do be, to be um, successful. The Academy shined a light, obviously, on a lot of problems we had in our company. I first want to say to all the members that have either contacted me directly to offer their uh, wisdom and advice and shared their documents with me, thank you very much. It couldn't have came at a better time for our company. And we didn't uh, run away from my, the problems. I faced them head on and I was able to fix them in a short amount of time thanks to the Service Autopilot Academy.